I have one um, person. It's my pleasure to be able to present our work. Existing 3D methods are commonly classified based on the underlying data representation. Firstly, projection of voxel-based networks, and secondly, point-based networks. However, those methods primarily focus on adapting neural networks to the complex geometry of point growth while ignoring a crucial challenge of intra-class variations caused by the evolution, their point and shape. Based on the above observations, we propose a classing-based supervisor learning framework. It aims to optimize the point imbalance based to be discriminating for semantic categorization and robust for point cloud variations. Specifically, two phases are iteratively performed, includes within class online classing and the classing analysis based contractive learning. Classing is achieved by optimizing the label assignment metrics. This matrix indicates the cross boundaries between points and their subclasses. The label assignment task can be viewed as an instance of the optimal transport problem, which can be efficiently solved with the single algorithm. It's highly efficient on GPU. In practice, it takes only 60 million seconds to assign 50,000 points into 40 clusters. Next, the cluster patterns are utilized to enhance point cloud representation learning. Point to point contrastive learning is accomplished by comparing pairs of points to separate patterns from different subclasses. Your brain gathers those from the same subclass. Point to center contrastive learning contrasts the similarity between points and the class centers in the embedding space. Minimizing those two losses is to a well destructed embedding space, as shown in the bottom. Points with similar patterns are grouped closely. Real points with dissimilar patterns are separated. Moreover, we follow the common practice in unsupervised learning by building a memory bank per cluster. It gathers point features of cross bonding cluster from previous tr training batches, thereby increasing the quantity and the diversity of positive and negative symbols. The proposed method offers several appealing advantages. We can achieve crossings and even a data set level training based on the listed strategies. This implementation explores the global data set distribution and the extremes rich correspondence among points across different senses. Moreover, our method is efficient and principled. Each epoch increases only around a 25 seconds delay. During testing, our implementation can be discarded, eliminating extra computational burden and model parameters. We have compared our algorithm with four methods across multiple tracks, and it constantly demonstrates performance improvement in all cases. Our method can also effectively reduce errors in small objects and bot like objects as soon. However, our algorithm also brings some new challenges including the intention in instance of their statement setting and automatic estimation of the cluster number. We will address those issues in the future. That's all. Thank you for watching.